We've been uh, we've been making a, making a rocket stove the last last couple of days. A couple of them really really like them. You should check them on on YouTube. There's a bunch on them. You come up with an idea is why not make it out of wood and make a wood stove. I made one already, and that's just really impressed. So we can go ahead and make another one here. All we're gonna do is drill two holes. It's one up and down. I drilled it off center, so last one I found, I made, I found it. It uh, burnt out to this side sooner. So now we're going to try and drill another hole from the side to match near the bottom of it, which is about that deep. And a little wee touch higher, if anything. An inch and a quarter bit of half. That's just what it happened to have. And there we have the finished stove, just like that. Notice I drilled it up at a little wee bit of an angle I formed with the rocket stoves I was playing around with that, uh, that seemed to help a little bit in the draft. I have to get the sawdust out of there a little bit to light it. I'll go ahead, go ahead and light it we'll, and we'll come back to it and show you how it burns. Oh, by the way, also playing around with, we've been using a wood gas stove when we're fishing for the last four or five years. We don't take propane along anymore. It's, it finally burnt out this year. This is a new one. Seems to work fairly good. Being a little heavier steel on top, it uh, draws some heat away, so the old one did burn a bit better. It's got a volume control, so we can control it. You really don't need that. You get around the right size of holes. Um, go ahead and look up uh, these things on YouTube, too. They're probably the cleanest burning stove you'll ever see. Right in ice camp. This is an actual rocket stove, like I said. Made with paint can, as the outside made things fairly neat. Bonus, paint cans come in two different sizes, so it made a good pot holder. It tucks away pretty, pretty good for transporting it. I think there's a handle to carry it then. There. Quite a few videos on, on YouTube here about with these two. They work. Burns pretty good. Okay, I'll go ahead and set this up to light it and we'll be back. Cheating. Yeah. Uh oh. Never never got cheating. Going with a bit of a wood lit a rocket like a rocket stove. Once it gets going, it's, it'll burn itself. It doesn't. You don't have to keep feeding it. Okay, we'll just uh, let that build for for a couple of minutes, and we'll come back to it then. Okay, right, well, a couple minutes turned out to be about 30 seconds, and we're going pretty good. You can start to see it. Flame coming, coming right through. So bring yourself up and down there and just starting to, starting to go all right. Hear the sound of why they call it rocket stuff. 
Okay, we'll let that get going for a while, and we'll show you what it looks like after a couple minutes. Okay, well, it's going to leave it longer. It's actually only been about two minutes that you've been gone, but it's it's burning pretty good, actually, so we brought you back. Yeah. Let's grab these nuts out of the shop to use for holding the pot up. The spot has to be up a little bit. Just blow through it. It's really responsive to that. The stove doesn't mind a little bit of wind at all. <laughs> Water was actually a little bit warm from before. There's steam coming off it already, but uh, as it was a bit warm. I've been going long enough now, I won't even have to add any more wood to it, it'll just burn on its own. I haven't tried, tried it yet, but I'm thinking that it's just a couple plugs in each hole, suffocate it and put it out, and keep it till, till next time. This one being a bigger log, I'll probably drill two holes from the other side, and have a stove on the other side of it too. Get quite a few meals out of this one log. For camping, rechargeable. Drill easily, drill several of those holes off a of battery or some pack a bracing bit too. It wouldn't be too bad of a job drilling those holes, I suppose. It never does get warm down here at all, so you don't have to worry about your table. It doesn't even get warm. Water up. Water's pot, pot's got the water sizzling already. Very, very little smoke off it. Wood gas does a little bit better, all right, but very, very little. But see that water will be boiling within 30 seconds or so. And we'll uh, we'll come we'll come back and give you a little another shot of this after it's dark. I'll light it up again and show you how far the flame shoots out of it. Sufficient for, for lighting up your campsite enough, actually. Try this one, you'll enjoy it. Okay, well, I got a bit hungry, I couldn't really wait for it to get dark, but you can see it. I'm going to throw some steaks on. It gets hot fast. It don't take long to get hot enough for steaks. I think they're pretty well done. Hot in here. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Swedish candle. <laughs> 